So the only thing we need here are the product ID and the quantity. That's it. So we will add our cart into the session. So let's come down here and ask the question, does this item exist in the session already? So that if it does exist, all we need to do is add to it. We increase the quantity. If it doesn't exist, we add it there. So let's say if, if is set session. Mm -hmm. Now session here will be cut like this. So you can put it in capital letters like that just to make it uh, more official. Yes. So if you set cut like this, let's move here. Now, if the cart is not set, it means there's nothing in the cart right now. We'll go to this point here. So rows, we just want the first item here, which is rows zero. So what I will do is cut this, uh, remove this here. I don't need that anymore. So right here, I just want to get the very first item. So remove that first initial a zero. So row, actually, let's just say row is equal to that. Okay, so let's get that row and add it. So if this set, we are here. If not, then we are here. So all I need to do now is to add to this. So I'll say this cart like this. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm telling uh, this cart add an empty uh, thing here. And then let's add something here. So what we are adding here, remember that this is an object. So what we are adding is the object ID, like so. Mm -hmm. Now, this thing right here, inside cart, we are creating an array and adding this item. But we need to be able to know which is the ID of the item and which is the quantity, right? So let's add one extra thing there and just say uh, ID like so, okay? And then here, uh, quantity. Okay, now this, this presents a bit of a problem. So let's do it this way instead. I'm going to say array like this, array quantity is equal to and then duplicate that. Let's put ID over here. Mm -hmm. So I will move the ID here and quantity, no, no doubt is going to be equal to one like this. Okay, so we have an array where we have the ID. It's the same array, which has ID. So now if you do want to uh, initialize these uh, arrays, Oh boy, excuse me. Wow, that was a powerful sneeze. If you want to, uh, a good practice, I guess, is to set this thing to an empty array, but it's not really needed. But you can do it that way just for readability, I guess. Oh, and I always forget, uh, please add comments to your code, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, don't mind me who's not adding uh, comments. It's just that I don't want the videos to take way, way too long that they already did. They already do. So add comments to your stuff. That way you can remember what you were doing the next time you come back. So now that we've added all this here, all I need to do is get this one and add it here. Like this. Oh, <laughs> not there, but there. <laughs> like that. And that'll be it like this. Okay, so now that we've created that array, we are adding it here. Good. Now, if the cart uh, exists, then let's let's check. Let's check if uh, 
Okay, so what I would do, just to show you what I've done here, is I will print the session down here after adding this item. So I will say show print session there. Show the session. Mm -hmm. So let me come back here. So we have this right now, but let's refresh. And now this is what we get. See, we have that uh, ID, but then we also have the cart, which has one item in the cart, and that item has an ID of seven, and the quantity is one. But what I want is when I refresh this, I'm adding the same item, I want this number to increase. So easy peasy, right? All we have to do is figure out whether it exists in the array. Now, the thing is, it's very hard to get to the ID from all the way there. So what I need to do is get use array column, which will get all the IDs of all. Uh, if, if I had many of these, let's say I had several items here. Actually, without too much talking, let me actually add another item because of course I can. Let me just click add. <clears throat> okay. Oh, sorry, my bad, I forgot. It will only add, uh, it will only go this way because now this exists, so my bad. So too bad you don't get to see that. Let me just copy this and let me come here and let's say, uh, let's say uh, my IDs, IDs is equal to array column. So it will get a very specific thing. So I'm going to put the array cart there as the input array. And then what column do I want to get? I just want to get the ID column. So now this becomes an array of just the IDs themselves. So I want to check if my ID, the one I'm getting now exists. So I will say if in array, this is why knowing um, array functions is very important. So if you can go to php.net and check all the array functions like array column in array, all these, they help quite a lot when you're dealing with arrays. So what I'm checking for is the row ID here. That's the needle. That's what I'm looking for. So needle like this ID and the haystack is where you are searching. So where am I searching inside IDs? Okay, so if it exists, if in array, then we are here. If it doesn't exist in the array, which is the else statement here, then we do something similar to this. Copy and paste. So we'll get one item, do that, and just add to that. So we'll leave this for now. Let's just come back and try it out because we are sending uh, number eight now. We, you see, we only have number seven in here like this. Let me zoom it in. So we only have number seven in here, but we're adding number eight. So let's see if it will add refresh. And there we go. We've added another item in the cart. So now our cart has two items. Now, if I do refresh this, nothing uh, is changing here, even though I'm adding this item several times. So I want its quantity to change. So easy peasy, I'm going to come here. Actually, I don't need to get all this. All I will do is in array, actually, what does in array return? It returns true or false. Yes, yes. Hmm. So I want to use one that, um, what's that one? So now I'm beginning to forget my own things. Yes, I think it's array search. Yes, array search, needle, haystack, same thing. So the reason why I want to use array search is because it's going to tell me uh, at what key did it find the, the thing I'm searching for so that I don't want to go through the whole array and in a loop. So I just wanted to tell me now, in array just confirms if it's there or not. It returns true or false. 
So it's good to use on an if statement because if requires true or false. But then once we know it's there, let's use array search to actually find the key itself. So here, because this is exactly the same, I will copy this and put it there. But this time I know I'm getting the key. So I'll do that. Key is equal to. And then now that we have the key, we can uh, do this. Actually, the whole thing here. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I can do this now and put key here and then move that to ID like this and then put plus plus like that. So I'm adding to it and that's it. So let's come back here and confirm. Ooh, so I'm adding to the ID. Look what I did. I'm supposed to add to the quantity Who does that. Okay, so let me unset the cart. Anyway, before I do that, let's just watch number eight. Oh, there's no longer number eight here. So let me refresh. There's number eight now. And if I refresh, the numbers should change. So there you see. So now I've added the quantity several times. So it has worked. I just need to delete these other things. So I can just unset the entire cart here by coming here, paste it, and then saying unset. Then refresh. Okay, so everything is gone. Then let me undo. Now I can refresh, I've added number eight. If I refresh again, the number is changing. Let me go back. Then I can add number seven. And you see number seven has been added. Let me go back. Number 10 has been added. If I refresh, the numbers do increase. Okay, so we've created a cart, but we just need to be able to return the user to shopping and also be able to display this cart when we need to. Okay, so I'll see you in another video.